it has been a long time since I've done an update video and how due to how busy we are, I haven't had the time to do it. So now it is time. Greetings, English and Spanish. Greetings to all LDA fans around the world. I'm gonna talk about Ecuador. I'm gonna talk about the current battle for Mexico going on right now. I'm gonna talk about Latin America versus Asia. I'm gonna talk about the Atlas debac debacle in Mexico. I'm gonna talk about Thunderstruck. I'm gonna talk about Kula versus Diaz. I'm gonna talk about Kula versus Japan. And then I'm going to talk about the snake issue. Let's start with Ecuador, Battle for Ecuador 2016. First off, I want to say congratulations to all people that participated. It was a pleasure participating with that with the uh, elite KOF and everyone for the Ecuador event. Um, by now, I'm sure Inferno Terminal made it back safely. Um, this was a good t way for us to see you know, how far Ecuador had came. Because originally, we did the first event because we'd heard... There were rumors that some of the tops were saying they could beat Cesar Dash. And so we sent Cesar Dash two years ago to, uh, you know, see if that was true. And um, Cesar Dash ended up humbling some of the tops that were Coneja and Chael because they claimed that they were going to beat him, and they didn't. So here we are two years later. Hopefully they're a little more humble. And um, Infirmo Terminal was sent there, and the Infirmo, uh, they had a national tournament in KF98, and uh, Coneja won. The national tournament. Infirmo Terminal sat that one out because he's going to play the champion. So we had a national tournament, single elimination in KF98. Y'all saw one part of it. Koneha won. He played uh, Infirmo Terminal. For, we call it, I call it tournament champions. First to 10. He defeated him 10 6. So um, Cesar Dash, a while back after playing um, them, he said Ecuador, since now he's been there twice, he said the skill level between Chile and Ecuador is pretty similar. This confirms what Cesar Dash said. Kuneha defeated him 10-6 in Fermo Terminal. They didn't get to play a rematch. You know, that's something for future reference. But um, Ecuador kind of reminds me of the situation Pakistan is in. You know, a lot of some people may not pay them any mind. And the reason they don't do that is because they said they haven't beat anybody. And that's just how it is with the world, guys. If you want to get the attention of the world, you're going to have to beat somebody, a top player, someone that's known. And uh, now that Kuneha defeated in Fermo Terminal, they're starting to get attention of Brazil, uh, Peru, uh, other people. So I want to congratulate you all for that. You all did it the right way um, by, you know, beating somebody and, you know, the future is bright. Um, I want to remind you all that we do have a contact with Humal TV Darkness, the number one KOF 98 player in China. And uh, we are working negotiations with him for future projects. So anything's possible. And there are no, no, there's no visa requirement for China to Ecuador. So again, anything's possible. Keep practicing. Um, and we'll see what the future holds. You will all will see the rest of the videos as they're given to me. So um, I'd appreciate no video, no questions about videos and when it's going to cop and all that. Uh, I have a, there's a moratorium on any type of questions about videos from any event right now because I get them as they're given to me. That's basically how it works. You know, as I get the videos, they're uploaded. If I don't have them, I can't upload it. So you know, asking me about when this is going to be or you're getting that's not going to speed it up. Okay, I get the videos when I get the videos. And right now, with all the events we have going on, guys, it's going to take some time. It's just as simple as that. We're still not done with Peru or Final Showdown videos. I mean, there's so many. You're talking about two weeks worth of videos, guys. So there's a lot of videos, okay? <laughs> not everyone has the fastest internet. So, again, we appreciate your patience. Let's talk about the event current, currently going on right now. Toshi is in Mexico right now. Um, that was an event, you know, we, we, all, we were all collaborating. Wars and Chihuahua, you know, to pay his ticket and then, you know, me help you know, I helped get Cameroon to, we originally thought he was going to go to Chihuahua, but he wanted to go to, to War. So, that's how that's going to work. Um, he's, he's there for a, a month, two weeks in Chihuahua, Mexico, two weeks in Wars. He'll play Skyto, he'll play Cameroon, he'll play Zales in Wars. okay? He played Kuno, he beat him 21-15. to 15. You're going to see that some of that those matches uh, shortly, um, and then we're going to go from there. Um, like I said, that event's going to last a whole month. And um, we're going to try to get as much as we can, 2002, 2002, UAM, 13, and 14, if possible. So Toshi's going to be there for a while. And Chihuahua, at least two weeks. So we'll, we'll I'll blow the videos and get them as we can. Just be patient. Thank you. That, uh, enough about that. Let's move on. Let's talk about a bigger topic, Latin America versus Asia. Okay? I told you all about the uh, our post on Facebook. The current number one 2002 player in Taiwan is not 10, 10, 10, 10. Okay? Like Shanghai in China, you know, Many people just assumed he was number one in KF98. No, he's not. Right now, it is darkness. 
Humal TV Darkness is number one in 98. Well, in Taiwan, it is Asshole Come. He's the number one 2002 player in Taiwan. It is not 10, 10, 10, 10. Okay? I say that because, again, I know there's people that they just assume stuff, and I'm not that type of person. I'm a person who likes to verify with facts. Okay? I'm not the type of fanboy person that's just going to just, this person is blah, blah, blah. I don't like that, and I don't like calling people gods either. Okay, because that is too subjective, okay? That sounds too fanboyish. It's too subjective. I like facts, okay? Now, if you want to say Shao Hai is the GOAT, okay, he's the greatest of all time, that can be proven with facts. You could say he's won this amount of 98 tournaments, this amount of 98 UM tournaments, this amount of international tournaments. He's won the EVO this time. You could say that, okay? And I could follow you. But if you want to sit there telling me he's a KOF guy, I can't follow that because there's there's too much, there's no criteria to what makes a KOF god. I mean... And then many people I think that means you're invincible. So I can't follow that. And I don't I don't I don't I don't subscribe to that type of mentality. Now, with that said, this Latin America versus Asia thing, all right? The Asians want, they want to see. They saw that first of 50 between Kula and Mono, which I hope you all enjoy. They want to see Kula, Mono, Joker, Toshi in Asia, okay, versus their tops. They want to see them versus Shao Hai, M Dash, Asshole Cup, okay? They want to see that in 2002. But see, there's a, there's one small problem here. And I'm going to be very clear about this problem because I've stated it many times and I want you to understand from my point of view, okay? With the exception of Cesar Dash, okay, these other tops, Joker, Mono, Toshi, they're not quite ready yet. And what I mean by that is not skill, but mentally, maturely, they're not ready yet. Because all these people seem to care about is not representing something bigger, like Latin America versus Asia or with LDA teaming up versus Asia. They don't care. They're not focused on it. These individuals are focused on Peru, okay? They're only focused on Peru versus Mexico, Peru versus blah, blah, blah. So, I can't, there's there's been so much going on behind the scenes that y'all have, have no idea about. Some of you do, some of you don't. That is just convincing me that they're not quite ready. I mean, Toshi had just had a recent debacle in, in in Mexico right now with missing a flight and then having to get, you know, they had to pay a flight again just because he just, he got drunk. He, so, that's unacceptable. Can you imagine if something like that happened if I would have spent over $1,000 sending him to Asia? And he got drunk and missed a flight. See, we can't. I can't have that. So Toshi's not ready. Regardless of what you all want to do, he is not ready to leave Latin America to go to Asia yet. I, can't, I haven't seen it yet. He's not ready yet. Mono, the Mono Kula. There was a Mono Kula issue that happened. Tells me Mono's not ready yet because he can't work as a team either. And then Joker, he doesn't seem to be ready yet either to work as a team. He doesn't. He just seems to be more focused on himself, glory for himself. That's what I see. So I don't, I'm not seeing it yet. I only see Cesar Dash is the only right now. All those tops. Peruvian is ready for to travel. I don't see anyone else ready for that right now. So, I mean, you wonder why you only see Kula going to Asia and stuff like that right now. I mean, Kula gives us a, a best chance of win, but I'm looking at Peru. They would, too, if they just matured right, acted right. They have the skill, like Kula, but a lot of them, they're not they're not mentally there yet, and I don't want them going there. They're messing stuff up, putting on a bad showing, a PR showing for LDA. I can't have that. So, you know, I recommend to those people that want to see them in Asia for the time being, Hopefully, let's see if we can bring those ages to Peru. Because Peru, in my opinion right now, with the tops that they have, and that they're at the end of a higher level than Mexico, they deserve the right to host a tournament where 2002 is, is, is a favorite. They've earned it. Because they've got the tops in Latin America right now, are Mono, Kula, and Toshi. You've got two of them from Peru. And then Joker right underneath. So you got three tops, and then the top three, four, four slots of all Latin America from Peru. So they earned that right. Okay, Mexico, you're not quite. They've earned it right. So I'd recommend if we could bring those people to Peru for 2002 event for now, that's what I would recommend in the future, okay? Let's talk about the Atlas debacle, okay? Did you all know that Atlas had a tournament in Mexico? Yes, I said Atlas had a KOF 14 tournament in Mexico. No one knew about it, okay? Very few people knew about it. Very, very few people knew about it, okay? So let me make this very clear. I'm not blaming any one particular individual because it is impossible, I think, for any one particular individual to make such a huge error. Okay, I'm blaming Atlas on this. I think Atlas dropped the ball because Kula didn't know about it. I didn't know about it. Ken Relito didn't know about it. Cannibal didn't know about it. I don't even think Luis Chan knew about it. Okay, see, I, these people, no one knew. No one knew about it. So it's a surprise that they had a tournament there, there in, in KO14. Atlas did. And, you know, we were all just blown away. So, uh, I mean, I could have actually had Kula there and I could have had Toshi there because Toshi's in Mexico now. So, had we known this in advance, we could have had Kula and Toshi literally in that tournament. But so, but, um, you know, again, I, I, Atlas dropped the ball on that. I'm not blaming one person. I'm not blaming Bonnie Kane. I'm blaming Atlas, okay, because no one knew about that. <laughs> Nobody knew about that, okay? So that's more than any one person could do. That is, a, that is Atlas screwing up. 
uh, screwing it up. Atlas slash SMK, whatever. They screwed it up. It's simple. So we prefer to just take that out on the rest of the world. And I always like to have the LDA players with a chip on the shoulder. Don't never be complacent. I'm like a drill sergeant. I'm, I'm telling you, complacency is bad. Getting complacent and being friend, friend, buddy, buddy with people. I don't want that. Okay. I want you to try to tear everyone's head off. Okay. I want you to be the best you can be, which means you always need to have that edge. You always need to be a chip on your shoulder. Okay. You, um, you, if you, when you think you you reach the top, I'm gonna tell you you have it. Okay. When you think you're a cave of God, I'm gonna tell you you have it. Okay. Because to me, a cave of God is someone that beats 100% of the people. Totally invincible. Therefore, there is no type of person. Person doesn't exist. Everyone has their own faults. Okay. Everyone has their strengths and their weaknesses. Okay. I mean, I can point. You can give me a player, and I can point out their strengths and weaknesses. For example, let's talk. We'll start. Let's start. Shout. Let's start. Shout high. Shout high his weaknesses. Let's talk about it. He hasn't gone to the depths of Latin America to play. So while he his record shows that he's the greatest of all time by winning tournaments, that can be proven. Okay, you can't sit up and say he's an invincible KOF guy. He's not because he is yet. You can't say he went to Latin America, played Bala, go play all these other people, play Kula, uh, play Toshi. There's so there's a whole continent of people that he has yet to play. Okay, you follow me? So while you can say he's dominant in Asia and in North America to that degree, you can't even begin to touch shot high Latin America. You can't right now, to the most part. You can't. So that's a weakness of his. Darkness, even though he's the number one in China right now, you can't definitively say that he's number one in the world in 98 right now because he has yet to leave China. You follow me? So he's in a purpose of getting his passport right now and all that so that we can use him to travel in the future, hopefully. Um, but he has yet to leave China. So you can't say he's number one either. You follow me? You can say he's number one in China. You can say without a doubt he's number one in the world. Can't say that. Follow me. Uh, Mysterio, okay? You can say he's been to Mexico, France, Morocco, Korea, South Korea, USA, okay? But you can't say you can't say he's played cool. You can't say he's went to Japan. He hadn't played M Dash. You follow me? I mean, there's places he hadn't gone. He hadn't gone to China. You know, there's there's stuff he still hasn't done. So while he's done a lot, okay, don't get me wrong. You know, he hasn't seen it all. Okay, so that's my point. That's what I use to motivate people. I try to show people if you really want to be this care of God, you've got to go everywhere. Okay, you got to go everywhere, and you got to beat everybody. No, no excuse. You got to go everywhere and beat everybody. Period. Okay. Leave no doubts. That's how you become a KOF God. Otherwise, you are no KOF God. You're just a elite player, okay? Elite player. That's what I'll say you are. You are an elite player, okay? But you're not a KOF God, okay? That's that's that. Let's talk about Thunderstruck. Um, Kula will be a Thunderstruck, and that's part of the reason why he's going to miss this tournament that's going on with Mexico. This tournament that's going on with Mexico with Toshi, okay? The main thing is I want to see what you all could do without Kula or Toshi, Okay? Or cool or Bart, right? Because for so long I've heard many people saying, and I I take note, oh, we can beat, you know, such and such player can beat Toshi. There's other skill in Mexico. Blah, 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 blah. You're preaching to the choir. I feel like you're preaching to me. You're trying to convince me why I should send other people from Mexico to these events. Look, so, you know, I'm calling your bluff on it. Cool is not going to be there to face Toshi. Um, neither is Bart. Let's see what the rest of Mexico can do. So, and plus, with Thunderstruck being happening this week, uh, how bad would it look to not have Kula at the first KO 14 rent? Just because it wouldn't wouldn't look good. I would have I'd hear it from all these fanboys and blah 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 and Joe Pinkas and Joel Chipo or whatever. Warren Pink, I hear from all those idiots that are, that are you know talking. You know I hear it. I can see it right now. And I'm no. I'd rather just go and shut them up right now. And let's go and get Kula on the revenge tour. That's what I'm gonna call it. Because this is a revenge tour, basically to shut everybody up. That's what I want to do. Shut everybody up. Silence everybody. Okay. Silence them all. That's what I want to do. I want him to have that chip on his shoulder. He's going to take it out on everybody in the world. No friends, all right? So, who is starting with Thunderstruck? He's going to go there. Luis Chow's going to be there. Koopa's going to be there. Cannibal's going to be there. Um, so, you know, we're going to try to arrange some stuff, some personal matches and stuff. So, happens this week. Stay tuned. It's a $500 bonus pod for Mexico. And so, um, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Good luck to everybody. Moving on. Super Game of Death. That will be the next event after this Toshi event that happens. It's going to be Kula versus Diaz, the main feature in 2002 UM, KO14. Diaz is preparing for a strength strongly right now. I know this. Um, and so we'll see what happens. Um, it's going to be in Mexico. So all you people want to see all this extra footage from Kula and KO14, etc., just wait a month. And I'm sure you're going to get a whole lot of it because that event, Kula and Diaz are going to be the focal point. So I wish both of them good luck. I hope you all training very hard. And we'll see what happens. Kula versus Japan. Let's move on. We're almost done. Kula versus Japan is going to happen. You know, we're looking at November or whatever, getting his ticket. He go to Japan. He's going to train, play M-Dash, all these other people. Because we know Samurai Hang, the guy that won the Humal Cup, he actually trained in Japan. 
So see, we're trying to be a step ahead of everyone because basically we, we know we see that that's what Mysterio did. He just stayed a step ahead of people traveling. Okay, and so I'm like, look, cool. If you want to be the next quote unquote Shao Hai, so to speak, we're gonna have to blow Shao Hai's strategy out of the water. We want you to go everywhere. So we want you to go to Japan. We want you to go to Taiwan. We want you to go to Morocco. We want you to go to Pakistan. We want you to go to Chile. We want you to go to Ecuador. We want you to go to Colombia. We want you to go to Argentina. You know, we want you to go to all these places. I want you to see everything out there. Play everybody. Okay. That's how you're going to stay ahead of the head of everybody else. That's how you're going to do it, okay? So we went cool in Japan for about three weeks. You can go to an actual tournament and play personal matches, play M-Dash, play all these other people, you know, learn, come back a whole lot stronger, right? That's what we want, okay? Uh, we'll keep you posted on that, and believe me, you'll know after that because you'll know, believe me. Um, the snake issue. As I told y'all, I like everyone to have a chip on their shoulder. Uh, there's a lot of people that claim they're gods out there, and there's a lot of false gods out there. And I, I told you, there, are, there is no god in KOF. So I want, you know, I don't mind going out there trying to show people that there is no God in KOF. Especially someone that can't even, wants to just sit online and claim they're good. I mean, you forget how the old people in the past did it. They showed up to play. That's how you prove you're good. You show up and you beat somebody, okay? So why I applaud Snake showing up to play Coco? He did still lose 10-0. So all this talk he's been saying, it's nothing. It means nothing. So that's basically that. You know, I don't mind hunting down other people okay, in, in, in online that claim they'd be good. I mean, to me, it's fun. Uh, and believe me, I know the players, some especially like who they enjoy hunting people like that down. So don't sit up here and say, well, we shouldn't be doing this, blah, blah, blah. No, trust me. These people enjoy hunting these people down. And of course, and to me, it's all a show. So if you're going to watch it, I'm going to do it. That's all it is to it, guys. It's a show. And if you're going to watch it, I'm going to do it, even if i gotta, if I got to hunt uh, such and such down or whatever down. That's what I'm going to do. Now, that's pretty much all about in English. I'm going to very quickly summarize the rest of this stuff in Spanish. Very quickly. Español. En Ecuador, quiero decir felicidades a los ganadores. Que con ella le ganó a Inferno Terminal 10 a 6 en el personal. Um, Solid felicidades. Tenemos contacto con Darkness, el número 1 jugador, el 98 de China. Hay posibilidades de nosotros que podemos invitarle a Ecuador o lo que sea, porque no, 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 no se requiere visa para entrar, para los chinos a entrar a Ecuador. Entonces, sigan atentos, sigan practicando. Posible, claro, un día que venga Kula. El torneo que venga con el México por el momento. Um, va Toshi está en México, va a estar en Chihuahua por dos semanas, va a estar en Warren por dos semanas, va a jugar sin cula y ni bar, porque hay mucho bla 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 bla, que muchos pueden ganar a Toshi y eso bla bla bla, pura mierda. Yo quiero ver si ustedes pueden ganar a Toshi sin cula ni al bar. Ya, ya, ya es la hora que me, me muestran todo de toda esta bla 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 por mucho tiempo, ok. Um, sobre el tema de la Latinoamérica versus Asia, los, los chinos quieren ver Kula, Toshi, Joker y uh, Mono en Asia, pero le tengo que decir cuidado. Por el momento solo veo que César Dash está listo para viajar porque está maduda. Hay muchos problemas que están pasando entre lo, algunos de los dos peruanos que no, no nos caen bien. Se, se ve que no saben cómo formar un equipo. Como por ejemplo, Joker so, solo enfoca siempre en su sí mismo. Está atacando a Mono, etc. Diciendo que no es un Melee Master y esas cosas así. Y como Mono, causando problemas con Kula, ya, ya veo. Y como Toshi, como ah, eh, se perdió su, su vuelo a, Chi, a, a Chihuahua. Estuvo en DF, entonces tuve, ellos tuvieron que pagar otro ticket para que Toshi pudiera, pudiera viajar a, a, a Chihuahua. Entonces es un gran problema. Imagina si, si yo hubiera pagado un ticket de un mil dólares para que Toshi pudiera viajar a China y se embarachó y tuve que pagar de nuevo. Imagina. Entonces no creo que también Toshi ni yo ni Mono están listos para viajar. Solo César Rash está listo de Perú para viajar. Entonces si quieren ver Latinoamérica versus Asia en el juego de 2002, se lo merece Perú tener el evento en Perú. Porque el Perú trae un buen nivel y los un, tres de los tops, dos cuatro del mundo están en, en Perú. ¿Verdad? Entonces se, se lo merezca, pero no, por el momento no puedo mandarles a Asia porque no están listos. De eso simplemente. Fue un torneo de Atlas en COP14 en México y nadie sabía, na, sabe, sabía nada del evento. Nadie. Entonces um, yo, tengo, yo pienso que fue un error, el error de Atlas de, de no promoverlo o lo que sea, pero es todo. No más quiero decir a mis que fue un torneo de Atlas de COP14. No, 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 la culpa a nadie, ni Vile Kane, solo a Atlas por, para no promoverlo, porque nadie sabía, ni Kula, ni Canibal, ni Canibalito, nadie. Entonces, bueno, es algo, vamos a seguir, salir adelante. Um, de Thunderstruck, ya saben que Thunderstruck es esta semana, Kula va, Luis Char va, Canibal va, Kupa va, um, y buena suerte a todos, vamos a grabar personales, ya saben, es todo. Um, en un mes ya eh, eh, viene el 10, entonces van a ser muchísimos retas de 2012 y con 14 con Kula, 10 y los demás de Puebla. En un mes, ya saben, sigan atentos. Kula versus Japón, vamos a casi ver sobre Japón en noviembre. 
eh, sigan atentos, ya van a saber muchísimo más sobre Cool en Japón durante ese tiempo. Y claro, ya saben, como, como los videos de Snake, etc., son como los de Hummer. Hay muchas personas diciendo que hay dioses en Kof y no hay dioses. Hay un, a mí un dios es un, un dios invisible que no, nunca pierde a todos. Y cada persona tiene sus, sus, sus debilidades y sus fuertes. En, por el momento, como Shanghai. Nunca ha viajado a Latinoamérica. Casi. Nunca. Nunca ha jugado Kula, Toshi, ni todo eso. Entonces es como Shanghai. Como es como... Tiene un, es como un, 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 lo, casi por decir por sus ganancias. Es lo mejor de todos los tiempos. Pero no puede ser que es un dios de invencible. Que nunca pierde. Que no es, no es la verdad. Siempre es, va perdiendo. No es lo mejor de China. En 98. Y hay muchas cosas que faltan. De él. Pero como momento, sí, claro, de las ganancias es lo mejor de todos todo los tiempos. Es, es un hecho. Um, para Misterio. Misterio no ha ido a Japón a jugar a Dame Dash. No ha jugado a Kula. Entonces, ah, claro, hay muchas cosas que también no ha, no ha hecho en es Misterio. Y entonces, es como el momento. Es como Darkness. No ha salido de China. Entonces, es el número uno de 98. Pero no puede decir que es el número uno del mundo todavía porque no ha viajado para averiguarlo. Entonces, siempre es mi pensamiento. Para los tops, trato de mantenerles. Mantenerles humilde y hambre de, me, de mejorar porque, porque siempre los aficionados tratan de darles más crédito que se, me, se, lo, se lo merecen es como es, y es la persona que dice cuidado, eso no, no lo permito no lo escuchen a los, a los aficionados son fanfarrones, etc no sé, y no, no saben de lo que hablan no saben de lo que hablan, no lo escuches porque la verdad, tú no eres un dios, un dios nunca pierde y un dios gana a todos del mundo, tú lo has hecho eh y eso es todo el momento, chavos, sigan atentos, ya hay muchas cosas que hacer, desarrollar, que tengan un buen día, gracias a Dios.